Here's a question. Is there a parallel between Boris Johnson in Britain and Donald Trump in the United States? Boris Johnson has been forced out of Parliament, he's no longer Prime Minister, and he's in disgrace because he broke parliamentary rules. Donald Trump says he is the victim of political persecution. Niall Gardner's with us. Now, he is the expert on all things British. He's got a great accent. All right, Niall, Boris has lost his party. Trump still runs his. Not much of a parallel, is it? Well, thanks, Stuart, for having me on the show today. And uh, I have to say, I think what's happened to, to Boris Johnson really is a, it, it's a travesty, actually. And uh, as, as Boris um, argued earlier this week, uh, I think the Parliamentary Privileges Committee report uh, really was quite absurd in, in many respects, a very vindictive uh, witch hunt against uh, Boris, I think. So I, mean, I think it's a bad day for British democracy. Uh, he was uh, democratically uh, elected landslide victory 2019 and ousted as prime minister and now ousted from parliament as well, actually. So um, absolutely scandalous, I think. Uh, but, but Niall, every, the, 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 the enemies that Boris Johnson obviously made within his own Conservative Party. Yes. That's not matched by the Republican Party in the United States, which still is led by Donald Trump. Yeah, I think, um, you know, a very different uh, situation here in, in the United States. And I think that, um, you know, a big difference is that, you know, with, with Boris Johnson, uh, many uh, of uh, many MPs in the Conservative Party, of course, were uh, individuals who did not vote for Brexit. In fact, many Conservative MPs are still not fully on board, I think, with, uh, with Brexit, of course, and, and Boris really was the architect of, of Brexit. He was the man who delivered Brexit as Prime Minister. Um, and so within the Conservative Party, uh, a large number of MPs are not loyal to Boris Johnson, whereas I think in the, you know, in the United States with the Republican Party, I, mean, I think there's, there's a greater sense of a sort of unity uh, and less of an ideological divide. But there is a big ideological divide within the Conservative Party between yeah. Thatcherites and Wets. And, and Boris represented the Thatcherite wing of the Conservative Party. He was brought down yeah. by the Wets within the party. I, I'm still a Thatcherite, but <laughs> big time, as a matter of fact. <laughs> that, I know great, you great are, to too. <laughs> now, look, Niall, because you've got a British accent, we have to talk about the royals. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reportedly not going to be invited to King Charles' Trooping of the Colour, big ceremony in London. Is this the final break in the family? Uh, I do think that, um, firstly, the King's decision not to invite uh, Harry and Meghan was absolutely right after all of the relentless attacks yeah. that uh, Harry and Meghan have made upon the royal family. Uh, but certainly, I think this is a demonstration of the, the growing isolation of Harry and Meghan from the royals. Uh, and uh, I do think that they have become incredibly... Uh, unpopular figures in the United Kingdom over the course of the last uh, couple of years. Mm -hmm. And within the royal family, uh, I think there is a great deal of um, unhappiness with their behavior. Uh, and uh, Prince William, for example, reportedly uh, is not even on speaking terms with Harry at all. Uh, and I think the, the king is increasingly uh, upset over the, the actions of Harry and Meghan. He has a huge yeah. heart, of course, in many respects. but. The way that Harry has attacked Camilla, for example, uh, I, I think is unforgivable uh, in the eyes of, of um, the king. And so this, this sends a very clear message, I think, from King Charles that he means business with regard to Good. the further isolation of, of Harry and Meghan after their uh, atrocious behavior. I'm applauding that.